Hello everybody, just SideGamer777 here, and welcome back to another reaction video, which today we are going to be reacting to Enchanted Bob's Disconnected Animation. This was recommended a long time ago, so I don't remember who recommended it. If you're the person who recommended it, you can tell me in the comments, uh, because I can't honestly remember. Please don't sue me for not remembering names. Can you even sue on YouTube? I have no idea. <laughs> but today we're going to be reacting to this. And I don't know when I say but today or but, but, but so much. It, it's like a habit. But we... Why, why am I saying it so many times? Anyway, we're gonna, just going to hop right into this. Because honestly, I don't think you guys want to hear me chat all the time. And let's see what this holds. Disconnect. Gabriel, Fritz, Susie, Jeremy... And who's on the top? Oh. Dude, it's not nice to smoke. Charlotte. His daughter. Huh? Okay, I don't know. I don't know the FNAF story very well, so. For saying. Oh, and his purple guy. Purple guy. I like this. Fire Ninja, very wise choice. I'm on the wrong side, and now, and now I feel it more than ever. I heard the song from when Fire Ninja uploaded it. I thought you followed the song, but I never saw the animation. Disconnected, oh. I'm caught in the purple guy, so this is the end. I am told. Uh, I can't bye. Go. Uh oh. I'm disconnected. What are you doing? Um, purple guy, what are you doing? What's he doing? That's a lot of lava. Or whatever that is. It looks like lava. Melted iron. What the oh, Christ. You made monsters that Circus thing. That's not that. What, what is this guy doing? Um, do you know that you're working with a madman? Building monsters? Perfect guy's the monster. The man who invented the You're on the wrong side. We can go down this path together. I don't know who this guy is, but I think you guys do. I'm disconnected. I'm caught in the threat. So this is the end. I am told. I can't ignore. Purple guy's bullying me. I'm trying to. Holy Christ. Lost to kill. Wait, the purple guy's the one who killed these people? What? Uh, dude, you need to get out of there. Oh crud, you need to get out right now. Uh, hi, purple guy. Uh, yeah, you should probably leave, dude. Right now, before Purple Guy does something. Oh, crud, he's got a gun. Okay, you gotta run. Now, now, run, run, run. Run! Oh, oh no! Oh, he's safe. Oh, no. Oh, crud. Guy, you're a crazy person. I go fast. Bring the animatronics to life. No. Oh no. This definitely isn't gonna end well. By any standards. What happens next? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was intense. I did not expect it to go in that direction. I was actually on one of Enchanted Mob's streams yesterday, and he said that he was actually making something to this, so I figured I'd watch this on the channel before, you know, I'd see that. And yep, that was, wow, that was actually really good. Yeah, uh, I also wanted to tell you guys, this last reaction was amazing. I'm really, I... 
the reason the gaming videos haven't been coming out in ages all I've been doing is throwing in random animations and reactions is because honestly I'm burned out on making those videos. Not like burned out like I don't want to make them, but my recorder has been dealing with a huge crashing issue as of late. The only thing I have to be really careful with when I do reaction videos because I have to be careful about how I angle the camera because if I angle it any other way it is going to crash on me. But guys, I just wanted to quickly tell you I got to make a video to see how many times I can, I can refuse to say but in every sentence. Anyway, I actually want to know, let you guys know that I'm really thinking about next week being another reaction week and like I plan to leave a poll up there on the, like the side if you guys are there before, it's, I don't know, but there's going to be a poll there, and it's going to tell if you guys want another reaction week. I don't know if you guys do, but, hey, it was fun last time. If you guys don't know what reaction week is, then you weren't tuning in the last time I did one. It's where I do reactions every day, all week, every, uh, every day, it's a new reaction video. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully... I can really find out what happens next. I think this, that's, that guy was in a real <laughs> Hello everybody, just side gamer, Stone 77 here. I welcome back to another video which today. We are going to be reacting to Save Me by Enchanted Bob. This video just came out today and I thought I watched Disconnected a little while back. This is the sequel according to the description. So, after skipping the sponsorship because my videos aren't sponsored by <laughs> these people because I didn't. Yeah. I'm excited to see where this goes. So I haven't the the I haven't seen an enchanted mob video since the to the bone animation. So without further ado, let's see exactly what this animation holds. Ah, the enchanted mob logo. We all know it by this point because we watched the to the bone animation so many times. Freddy and looks like Bonnie. A song by Tryhard Ninja, not a robot. I forgot to read the other part. The little girl. And him. The guy from Disconnected. Oh. So you're saying that purple guy did get him? You're saying he did get him. He looks very injured. Um, what if I couldn't save you? Huh? Who's that? Even though I tried, what if the huh? dark embraced you? And you um, lost my light if I couldn't go so, the streets that kept you. He did just learn that his daughter is supposed to get murdered by you know, purple guy. And it's just like look at him on the what the? What are those three guys doing? What are they doing to the little girl? What the? They are jerks. Um. I guess she doesn't know the fact that their child's about to be murdered by Purple God. Well, at least his pain's getting healed. He has to go save his daughter. It's because the mom's not trying to help at all. He's gotta hurry to save her. Oh no. Purple guy's coming for her. You gotta hurry, dude. Oh, 
Come on, you guys. Stop purple guy. I'm hoping that side part was just the pointless part. Purple guy. I think. And the puppet? She's dead. Sorry I couldn't save you. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. It's too late. When I heard you cry. No. Purple guy. I hope I'm saying purple guy right, and that's not just some I know that he has a not real name, but This video was made possible oh. by Jellico. Oh. For oh. Hello, everybody, just Saiyan Gamer, 777 here, and today we are going to be reacting to Dance to Forget, a Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location music video. I don't want to interrupt your guys' fun time of reacting to this, so let's just hop right into it. Video description advised. Video contains flashlights and images. Okay. Let's just see where it goes. Hmm. Note, I have never listened to this song. Purple guy. Hmm. A purple mount of smoke. supposed to be Ballora? She's a ghost. Mm. Yes, just go on and dance. Where'd all this come from? Like, did William build this? Or... Is it? I think it's William Afton. I think Michael Afton's his son. Hmm. That is an empty room. Besides, all the whatever those are. Doesn't really look Minecraft though. Well, again, the tie doesn't completely look Minecraft. Oh, the min the min arena. Yeah, you should probably run to up oh, and there he goes. And she clips the lever. Funny how whenever William, I think it's William Afton does the thing to people, they always want to kill him when they have the ability to. Even his own family, even if does it to save them or not. Yes, gotta go fast. What's the face? Uh, um. Did he killed her? I mean, I guess he probably killed her, but. Um. Whoa! That is a creepy rick. Dude, yeah, you, you got you gotta run! Run, run, run! Yeah, because what the What? Oh wait, up! Oh. Is it gonna be able to Bullseye! And it's closing dramatically! Just closing dramatically! Yeah, he is he, he looks like he's gonna poop a bit. Oh. 
And he made it! It really shows that he... he re it's clear he regrets what he's done. Directed by Queen Dean Finn and other stuff. Well, I gotta say, this was interesting. Very interesting. I gotta say, it also had a very unique plot line. Because normally these songs and animations by Enchantment and the other one, other creators, they have a story to them that is completely focused on the original FNAF story. But this one is more focusing on Afton and the regrets of his life that he's always felt ashamed of doing, but knew he did it. It's actually really interesting. Just looking at the video right now, it just feels so incredibly, not noble, but definitely different from what I would expect. But, meh. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to It's Me by Enchanted Mob. I gave myself a bit of a pep talk before this about how I can put up my energy at 9 o'clock at night recording this, but then releasing it the next day, but. Meh. So, anyway, today, yeah, we're, as I said, we're reacting to this. So, let's just hop right into it. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Welcome to your office, settle down. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, kid. Please pay no attention to the terrifying screams. You should hear the worries of the voice that's on the phone. Tonight you might be by yourself, but you are not alone. The mask that we wear, pretend they are there. Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Whoa! What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Afton with the punches! Oh my lord, this poor kid! Oh my lord! <laughs> How is he this good of- Oh wait, Fox is gonna take him out, isn't he? Oh no wait! Oh what? Oh, Fox is actually gonna take him out! Oh no wait! Oh! Oh wow! I just took all of the animatronics out. Wow! Ah! Oh. Oh no. Golden Freddy suit. Or that's Freddy, Golden Freddy, spring trap. My bad. They just look very similar. Oh no, and his kid.
Whoa. I hate. Whoa. I like the music outro, it's really fun to listen to. But let me, I'm probably gonna get copyright claimed on the whole video for some reason, even though I'm, I'm in the legal rights to use the songs for my reactions, but... Oh my lord. I'm just waiting to see if there's like a secret ending. Hmm. I mean, probably not, since I only know that Andy BTTF has done that. Nope, no secret ending. Oh wait, is there? There is! Whoa. Dude. Hello everybody! Welcome back to another video, and today, we are going to be reacting to Dream Your Dreams. An Enchanted Mob Minecraft music video. I learned about this just today, and I decided I'm going to react to it and upload it today on the day it comes out because I also want to react to the Examination Turtle animation, which is said to come out, and I don't want them being uploaded on the same day or have to reorganize everything. But yeah. Let's just hop right into this. Hmm. Charlotte. After Purple Guy murdered her. And Henry is sad about it. I kind of like the song Dream of Dreams. I've heard it a few times. It's actually a pretty good song. Are you calm? Hush now, drift off to sleep. Reality or memory. Don't be scared of what you find. He's clearly upset. Monsters that live inside your head at night. Things seem so good, but everything just turned to crap. Yeah, he is definitely angry now. It's weird hearing such a calm song with such a phenomenally serious scene. Wow. Neither of them are handling it well, or handling handling it well. Michael. Oh, is this about the FNAF 6 location? Is he getting his revenge? Gonna go ahead. The ticking clock breaks the spell with every beat. Illusion or not, you are safe for now. So dream, so dream your dream. So dream your
Henry, what are you doing? Michael did nothing wrong. Wow, the, the time not too good on that girl, lady. What are you doing? What is he doing? Is he insane? And now a message from our sponsor. This is sad. I'm just gonna watch this because it was funny before. On a script for an upcoming project at Enchanted Mob Animation Studio. <laughs> With just, I thought you were from Zach or Micah. Oh, uh, good. Uh, okay. Make sure you meet that deadline. Wow, I can build stuff on this map, complete quests, and so much more. That's right, Oh. Play lots of other awesome mobile <laughs> the animation aspect's hilarious to me. Wow, all these games are awesome. Maybe I'll wow, the voice acting is really on point. GT Arcade is the best place to play games, but you have to make time to work. Oh, yes, next level, baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, then, Seth. I guess even your boss can't help but play GT Arcade at work. Tell you what, I've never heard of that thing before. I'm gonna head over to GT Arcade myself to play some games, and you should too, by clicking the link in the description. I don't know, I'd like to work more on the idea of animations. That's actually pretty entertaining. I like these. Directed by Seth. Yeah. Wow. Besides that little jokeful animated sponsorship, wow. I'm just gonna... Let these roll through because I'm too lazy to try to cut them out because that's a whole lot more editing that doesn't need to be there. Oh, you know, Zach helped up on this project. I'm just gonna read these credits for a reason. Oh wait, oh, Zach helped with Zach and don't know who Malachi is, but of course Seth worked on this. He's the basically the the person who runs the Chance and Mob Productions. Oh, the actual Zack. The examination Zack. A lot more. Seems like Zack is the one of Zack and Micah who gets the more involved with everything. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm getting all the Zacks confused, because there's a lot of Zacks. Well, two Zacks, but that's still more than one Zack. Huh? Oh, that music was a little ominous. Well! That was dream your dream. And my thoughts? Shocking. Surprising. Sad. I may have cracked a tear if it went on for a bit longer with the emotional back, like rewinds. I almost did cry there. It was... What is Henry thinking? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be reacting to Break the Cycle. The conclusion to the disconnected part of the FNAF saga on the Enchanted Mob channel. Am I excited? You bet I am. I really liked Dream Your Dreams and basically every other one literally in the series. I've been keeping up with it very strongly. And I'm really looking forward to how he, well, Enchanted Mob concludes this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I struggle at these intro things, okay? Just, just, I don't know. By the in my intro for the video, I guess. Oh, smoking is bad for you, according to all those ads I'm forced to listen to. Oh, well. For how long must this go on? Round, round, on a carousel, but on a conveyor belt, all souls away from home. 
Why? Um... Oh, dude, turn around! Turn around! Oh, jeez! Oh my gosh! Come on, dude! He's just a guy! Oh no! How's Michael gonna get out of this? When the person who thought he was the hero becomes the villain. Wait, he... Why? Why is Michael to deal with this? Why did you try? Why did you have to kill Michael with it, with them? Why? Please tell me Michael's gonna survive. Of course, Springtrap survives. He is the true. He is basically one of the most powerful characters in this series. Basically, at least that's what I call him. For being the guy who murdered all those kids. Final showdown time! Come on! I still not even sure who's the hero here at this point, but Jeez. Whoa! Oh my gosh! You can just tell how angry he is. Oh jeez! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <sighs> what? Oh, come on! We don't even get to learn what happened to Michael. Did he just die with all the animatronics? Or did he get all what? What? So come on! Are you kidding me? How is this the conclusion? Come on! I'm so upset now. Bro. Are you kidding me? Why? That's a lot of people who worked on the small animation. But why? Why? How is that the conclusion? Uh, is there anything post credit related or is it all just over? I think it's all just over. Are you kidding me? Seth, how is that the conclusion? I, I just, I, I don't understand. I feel like, I hope that this is just the conclusion of this part of the story because there's still so much story that can be explored here. Like, sure, he may think, the I can't remember everyone's names, but I think it's... Henry, maybe? I don't know. But the guy may have thought he got rid of, of Springtrap, but these guys are these guys never die. They do they tend to live forever. But then again, this might have set up Ultimate Custom Night where where William ends up getting stuck. I don't know, but Honestly, I can't say if I'm satisfied or dissatisfied with this. I honestly just this feels like an in the middle thing. Like I accept conclusions when they work, but I'm not too sure. I honestly don't know how to feel about this. Why? I don't... I don't get it. I don't... I... I don't get it. 
Hello everybody, JG React here, and today we are here to react to the entire disconnected FNAF Sister Location anime music video movie. Yeah, I, I don't know, uh, apparently there was more added to this, so yeah. Although I don't know if 27 minutes is considered a movie, but it still is pretty long for FNAF animated content. This apparently contains all the things from the Disconnected series, so I'm probably gonna get a lot of copyright claims on this video, but I don't care, because I'm looking forward to this. So without further ado, my fellow reaction fans, that's how for me. Well, the video is, but I'm censoring that out because I don't want them to think I'm sponsored by it, because I am not sponsored by- oh, wow. That is Uga Spooky. Disconnected. Still one of my favorite songs. Ah, uh, yes, Disconnected. I remember the last time I reacted to this one, the, my audio was so low, my voice was barely audible. Ha, who's laughing now? Video? All right, we got Henry and William. We got these two going. I also still love this song. It's still such a good song. I just love doing it. Yeah. That, uh, and you should probably be careful because I think William's up to something. And the car's wheels aren't moving. What's an evil smile? I'm still impressed by those lava physics. I still love those lava physics. Or like those molten physics. Circus baby. Ah uh, yes, so we're setting up sister location. Circus Baby's Pizzeria. And it feels like he's accomplished something. He's setting up the animatronics. Yeah. I love this song. He finally sees the truth. His own daughter. He's right there, dude! Dude, you gotta get out of there! I know what he's gonna do next! Oh, that's a gun! Oh yeah, dude, get out of there! Oh, he, he, shots fired! And with that... Whoa, the, those... The, even with this being so long ago, this still looks so amazing! It's so scary at the same time. And the animatronics are born. I still remember the whole conversation that people aren't sure if Sister Location Fox is a boy or a girl. Personally, I don't care. Ah, uh, yes. Which I really- I already pointed out, right on the bottom there, I see- Ivory's character, her character's right there too, and we got the puppet. I didn't mean to lie. Yeah, it turns out, I thought he was fine, but nope, he got shot. 
Honestly, out of all of them, this is my least favorite out of all of them. Because the song's just kind of eh. Huh. He got his wife. How am I noticing all this clipping that's going on? There's so much clipping. His dog is gone. Still gives me goosebumps. We got the three generic bullies. And we got the puppet. Who randomly got stacked on for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, three generic bullies. Save his daughter. Well, look, another elevator shaft. Dude, get there! I still- at least he fixed the car wheel problem that I couldn't really tell if they were moving or not last time, but... No, no! Dude, it, you gotta get- no, I you think you're too late! He's gonna get too late, isn't he? And... it's too late. Too late. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. It's too late, dude. It's too when late. I heard you cry. It's too late. I still get goosebumps. Because murdering children is so wrong. Even murder in general is wrong, but murdering children, that's just like a whole nother level of evil. Ah yes, the one that, eh, this is almost okay. It's the, I never heard this, I just didn't forget before this animation, so it was a very new thing to me. We got Ballora. For some reason, Henry murdered his own... Not Henry. I keep getting the two mixed up, because I keep thinking of Henry from Betty and the Ink Machine, and I don't know why I think of him too, but... William murdered his own wife and ended up murdering his own daughter. This is probably the only time I don't really know what to think of William Afton. Couldn't tell if he was a good or bad guy. Because as bad as it may have been, he still regrets everything he did to his own family. He still regrets what he did to his family. Oh no. Oh crap! Oh my gosh, look at the red cycle that looks like a walk cycle! Oh, Chris Blatt. And 
you got a little something. I can't remember its name right now. Parkour, parkour. Boom. Parkour, parkour. Oh, this part. <laughs> that face still makes me laugh now. <laughs> like, ooh, it makes me laugh. Dead. I hate my metal bones, my bones and gears creak in my chest, my chest. She looks like entered for a second. Yeah, that is even more terrifying. Dude, you gotta go fast! That is really creepy. Yep, it's headless. And what a throw! You gotta go fast, dude! Get faster! Barely makes it. Barely makes it and gets away. Oh. oh. Technically night four-ish. I remember this animation. When William's a beast. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. That is Foxy. When he sees his father. The puppets! Sorry for having my nose a bit just... It's my allergy season, so kind of yeah. She wants her revenge. Holy moly, son of a biscuit. Dog ball oh, dodges the check and knocks Freddy out of the park. And in comes Bonnie. Oh, and oh, down by the cow in withered form. Dang. Up and Chica just going all in and his son freaking out. As his dad is a beast when it comes to destroying robots for some reason. And then we got Foxy. Where he does the most crazy thing. Where he literally grabs the electrical unit. Frying Foxy. Kids who had to deal with purple guy. And he's pulled out the gun. Yep, you're you're doomed, dude. The souls of the dead children you murdered. They are so creepy. Boom goes the cannon. He didn't even know his son was there the whole time. The spring trap suits. And that's just his kid.
And there he goes. Bum, 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 da, da, bum, bum, bum. With the last of the strength of the puppet. The puppet brings his kid home. Because he doesn't have to deal with what his father did. Because he's not technically not done anything. And then we got that suit. So I'm trying to remember everyone's names from the suits but this time, but I can't remember everyone's names at the time because I'm doing my best. Ah yes, dream your dream. So sorry, dude. But your co-worker was not a good person. Yep, and there he goes, destroying everything. Hating everything he's gone through. With the most calming music ever. This totally fits together. And then we got a kid who did nothing wrong, but was stuck in the situation after all. He did nothing wrong, and he already has to be in this. Even his own, even his own daughter didn't think of of Michael as a bad person, but her dad does. This is they're related. Honestly, I still see, even though I know Henry's meant to be like the hero, I still see him as one of the villains. There's not really any hero in these stories. There's those who died for no reason, those who are the villains, and those who you think are the heroes but really are the villains. This is so sad. He's just remembering his kid for the few years they had together. I know he's doing this just to, uh, just for uh, his daughter, but it's not uh, William, but I just, why go this far? I now remember it's Lefty, but why is Michael being roped into this? He is, he doesn't play any part. He doesn't play any part, why is he part of this? So it says there's like 8 minutes in this thing, I don't break the cycles like 3 minutes, so what else could there be? Still not really a fan of this conclusion, though. Because Michael did nothing wrong. He did not deserve to be put into this pickle. Was it all a dream? Bringing home the shadows in the dark. Attractions in the lost amusement park again. Ghosts in the machine. Contorted spirits in their moving graves. In futures that will never be the same again. For how long? 
Why? I feel so bad for Michael here. Sometimes I, sometimes I wish there was a story where William wasn't the villain. Look out, don't end up there. There's Circus Baby, your technical sister. There's Mangle. Not Mangle. Mold Freddy, I think. Or there's Lefty. I don't remember all the names. I don't. I only know the lore. I don't. Pay, I don't know much about the character names. Spring or Scrap Trap. But who cares about the details? Wait, what? Was that the same? Was that the always there? I don't remember. Was that footage there the last time? I think it was, maybe? No. He should have not died! Michael did nothing wrong! Michael did nothing wrong! Why is he ripped into this? Final showdown time. Was some of this footage here last time? I don't recognize some of this footage. I don't recognize some of this footage though. There, like I remember this fight scene, but like the latter scene, I don't remember that. Maybe my memory's just bad. Honestly, this showdown itself was pretty amazing. That is until the wife, Henry's wife came in. That kind of ruined the fight, but... Yeah, this part... Not as huge of a fan of her being in the battle, since she showed no guts in the previous parts, so her suddenly growing, growing the ability to fight didn't really fit too well, but... Honestly, their battle is amazing. There's still five minutes to... Five minutes here! How is this supposed to... This is the ending of the... There's still five minutes of footage! He brings them in. Unless it's, the five minutes are just all credits. Oh! New footage! Oh, it's just about the wife. Oh. Uh. Did anyone else notice that rose kind of go crazy? What the? Did she die and they're finally together again? No? Okay. For some, for, I'm trying to push that she was one of the good people in the story. She kind of feels like an underused character because I feel like she's she doesn't really contribute to anything. She contributes to anything though, so maybe that, that's just one complaint I have, but. <sighs> Honestly, Michael still shouldn't have died. He he had nothing to do with the story. And now a message from nah! <sighs> okay, let's see. Hey, Seth. Okay. Old pal. We got Isaacs and Seth. Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Seth, buddy old pal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <nothing>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's happening? <laughs> what the? Seth, you have created a time loop and have thus been trapped in limbo. What? The only way to return to the mortal plane is to answer three questions. Uh, okay. Seth. What is the meaning of life? What? I... Uh, I don't know. 
I don't think anyone may ever know. Are we alone in this universe? Well, given the ever expanded size of this Sorry, I think just asking the main questions. Let me get the third one about Flamora. It's quite possible. And for the last and final question What is the best software to edit videos? Hmm. <laughs> Filmora 9. It's the best uh, video editing software because it is super easy to use, tailored for beginners, I sometimes, video recording, endless yeah. pop-up video effects, and even audio fine-tuning. Honestly, uh, I need to make YouTube videos as included in Filmora 9. Seth, you have been granted access back to the mortal realm. Phew. That was a close <laughs> Oh my, look at the time. I need to return back to the mortal plane to release Brick the Cycle before it's too late. Seth. I... Seth. <laughs> are you okay? Yes, uh, I'm fine. But I just need to finish this video on time. Are you kidding? I'm going to use Filmora 9. And you should too. By clicking uh. on the link in the description. Uh, well, not in my description, their description. But honestly, for Filmora 9, I use it for like... A few gaming videos from now on, like the honest with the outro. Really, I use Flamora 9 once or twice. Like some of my videos I've edited, like the every 30 seconds you levitate video, stuff like that. I've edited it with those. I've edited used Flamora 9 for those. But majority of my content I edit in Shotcut Video Editor, which is it's free and much better personally, but you gotta learn to work with it, but uh Did that lady really deserve a happy ending? She kinda didn't play a part in it at all. Like she was she she beat up one time, like apparently that's girl power now. Why didn't they put in now hiring a Freddy's? I consider that part of the story for no reason. Uh, still, now hiring a Freddy's is still my favorite FNAF animation from Chase Mob yet. But this Even with the extended footage amount, it still was a pretty uh, uh, Still didn't feel like a conclusion. Like sure, they now his her, he, Henry and his daughter now live in heaven together forever, and their mom will join them soon too, and stuff like the the girl's mom will join them, like things like that too. But this is such a mediocre series. Like it started off phenomenal, and it was getting better, but then break the cycle was probably one of the most mediocre endings I've ever had to see from an animation. Like, I know it's hard to conclude a story, but... If you put enough thought into it, it really works. But... If you put absolutely no thought into it, and just decide to say, Oh yeah, these characters are this now, even if they... Like, there's two things I could complain about here. Michael... And the, the girl character's mom and Henry's wife. Both were really underplayed, and so suddenly looping them into the story felt kind of forced, really out of nowhere, and yeah, no, at least for Michael. For the wife, she was kind of underused. Like, sure, she popped up and gave moral support and things like that, but they never showed she, that she could kick butt. They never show that she had what it took to be one of the main characters and deserved a super phenomenal, oh, fantastic ending. It made no sense. It, d it just didn't. It made no sense. This story, it still, even with this whole movie with them even saying the extra footage and there's a little finale thing, even with that, this feels so <sighs> unconclusive. It feels like there's still so much that needs to be done here. There's still so much that needs to be that needs to be explained. Like, even in the original games from, like, Game Theories, apparently Michael did survive the fire, but they're not gonna show that. And also, they never showed it turning into a robot, so he's basically been a human his entire life, and now he's being murdered just because of his dad, even though he's nothing like his dad, and it's stupid. It, it doesn't make any sense! It doesn't make any freaking sense! Just... It checked him out! What were you doing? What the fudge were you doing? What the heck were you doing? This this is this conclusion does not feel satisfying at all. It feels kind of underdone. It, it just I know it seems like a lot of complaining, but as a writer, you gotta make sure. I, like I'm a writer 
because I already write a lot of scripts for role plays and stuff like that, and I already I've been like imagining ideas for animations in my head, even though I can't animate. And as much as I want to be able to put those animation ideas into fruition, I can't because of that I can't animate. But even those ideas, they have conclusions to them. They fit. They work. They're happy. They're done. They're done. They're finished. This made no sense. Just so much work needs to be put into these. I know, I know the animations themselves are incredible. Everything about it is amazing, but the story is lacking. There's so much stuff that isn't explored that should be in order to make everything that happens in the end make sense. There's so much that doesn't make sense. <sighs> I'm sure other people have different opinions of this, but to me, this was just a very unsatisfying conclusion. Eh, just... 6 out of 10. Sorry, Seth, just... Your animations are... They're amazing. And I am looking forward to the the Bending the Ink Machine one. I'm looking forward to that one. That one actually looks pretty good, even though I'm not really not a fan of the Bandy animations from the Enchanted Mob channel, but... I don't know. Just... This had so much potential, and... You didn't let it flourish fully. You just kind of... Wrapped it up. But that was all just my opinion. That was the entire FNAF Sister Location Disconnected full movie. Hopefully, those of you who stuck around to the end enjoyed and listened to my ramble. And yeah, thank you all for tuning in. And I shall see you in future videos if you want to tune in. Also, if you guys want to check out my main channel, I have a main channel called JG Crafter, which, which is like this one, only instead of a lot of reaction videos, I only post one reaction video, which is Songs of War, on there. If you guys want to see Songs of War reactions, they're on there. If you want to see gaming videos, roleplay, stuff like that, those are also on JG Crafter. JG Reactor is more of a side channel, but yeah, I just wanted to share that too. And if you guys want to see more Chance and Mob animation reactions from me also, there's a playlist that literally contains every single reaction I've done for my JG Crafter channel before I move them out here. So if you guys want to see more reactions and not recommend reactions I've already watched, go there. Just, just go there. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. See you all in future videos if you join. If not, that's fine too. But if you like to watch more, you can subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to. If you don't have to, it's entirely fine. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm, I'm really extending this outro. Just bye, everyone. Peace.